Testing. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Everything good there? Syphilis. Syphilis. Anyone in that movie? All right. Test, test. One, two. Test. I'll leave mine on as well. You can mute it whenever you want.
What's up, St. Roberts? I'm Marcus Zagorowski. And I'm Mitch Ballock, and we're here to welcome you to Shine 2020. The Shine Show is the place to be tonight, and Doug and Chris have a fun night planned for you. The goal tonight is to recognize those who have contributed so much to St. Roberts and, of course, raise money for the school and parish. So sit back, relax, enjoy the virtual evening with friends, and keep bidding on the auction items. Live from St. Roberts. It's Friday night. Go, Go Cardinals. Cardinals! Wow, was that fantastic? You know, that was amazing. We have never, ever had a kickoff like that before from two Creighton superstars. How amazing is that? You know, and a little story behind that, if you don't mind me telling, Chris. It. It's, uh, you know, we asked those guys to do the video, and they said they'd be more than happy to do it. But they said, you know, you got to come down. you got to beat us in a three-point shooting competition. <laughs> and so Chris and I, you know, we got, we got suited up. We went down. And obviously, you could see the results of how that worked out. So, Chris, yeah. thanks. P purest shooter in Omaha. Right here. Purest you shooter know what, in Omaha. What really threw me, though, is when McDermott wanted to know if you had any eligibility left. Well, I, I, would just, I wouldn't play defense. I would just stay at one end and shoot all the time like old 6v6 Iowa ball. So, <laughs> nice. Anyway, my name's Doug Kelly. This is my sidekick, Chris McGill. Chris, thanks for being here yeah, with us tonight. Happy to be here. And, you know, we're so excited that everybody's going to join us at home tonight. And we want to thank you for being here with us. You know, we've got a lot of exciting things tonight planned for the evening. We're going to recognize the alumnus from the class of 2001 from St. Roberts, an amazing, amazing gal. We're also going to recognize a wonderful family, a very blessed family who's made St. Roberts such a better place. They've been with us since 1986, and we're going to talk about them here in a little bit. But we're also here, we're going to watch some wonderful videos from our kids that really focus on our parish and our wonderful Blue Ribbon School. So we're very, very proud of all of those things. And we got a few surprises, Chris, don't we? Absolutely, we will. Chris, why don't you run through a few things of what we're going to do tonight? I will. Let's uh, kick this off. So glad to be here. Uh, this is the 16th year of either Bella Festa or Shine. Um, obviously, it's my first year doing this Shine. Um, obviously, I had nothing to do with that, so do not blame me for what we're doing tonight, um, but it's going to be a great night. Well, Chris, it's really good to have you here. Thank you. My sidekick, Chris McGill, the cookie maker. I mean, it's amazing. I'm really blessed to have him here. And you know, it's been an unusual year with COVID and everything going on, and we know, we wish we could have you all here with us tonight. But we know you're at home, watching on your computers, watching on your big screens, tablets, iPhones, etc. So we're so glad to have you here. Uh, so thanks for doing all that. So why don't you just kind of, Chris, run through a few things. And before you do that, I just noticed in the crowd, we've got a few people here tonight. And we're very, very blessed to have Father Donald Shane with us tonight. And Father Shane doesn't travel alone. He's got his sidekick, Father Mark McKercher. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Who, who doesn't? It's a true blessing that you're both here. And I'm not sure if the bishop sent him here to keep an eye on us tonight, Chris, or what. That, that's your call, Doug. I don't we're know. We're glad to have you. Thanks, Fathers, for being here. Chris, run through a few things. Tell I'd be us happy. What's going on. Happy to, Doug. Uh, before we get started, I'm here tonight, but I want to give a shout out to my youngest, Maeve. It's her 11th birthday today. So happy birthday, Maeve. Love you, sweetie. And somebody else that put a lot of work in tonight. It's also her birthday. So Kelly Vasquez, happy birthday to you. Go, Kelly. So I mentioned my daughter, and that's part of the reason we're here is for St. Robert's School and the students, and obviously it's our parish, and there's so much, uh, there's just wonderful things going on here at St. Robert's, and it's sad that we can't have a room full of people here in the Manelli Center like we normally do, but we're doing the best we can. We've got a small group here. We've got groups of people at their homes having viewing parties and doing the best that they can, and, um, you know, some different people that were there, uh, let's see, the Menards were hosting a party, and the Borgmans, Foxhovens, the Burks, McMahons, the Zugars. Some of you might have some apple pie shots from Ann Kozel that you purchased through the Shine auction, so enjoy yourselves and have some fun tonight. A uh, special shout-out to St. Robert's legend, Denny Walsh, who's also hosting a party. Um, 
you know, he's been here in this parish forever. I know his kids very well, just a fantastic family. So we're here to celebrate St. Robert's and all that's so wonderful about our parish. Um, so thank you. Um, some of the things tonight, as far as how things are going to work, a little bit different since we're doing this virtually. Uh, if you're home and you're watching online, if you have any issues uh, with bid power or anything like that, go ahead. There's some help on the corner of the screen. Uh, you can go ahead and call the parish office, 402-333-8989. Again, 402-333-8989. Or you can go ahead and email shinehelp, all one word, shinehelp at stroberts.com. Somebody will be here to help you. Uh, some of our fantastic volunteers. Silent auction bidding closes at 9 o'clock tonight, so get your bids in. Go ahead. Uh, there's some fantastic items, some from yours truly, if you want to buy cookies for an entire year. I think that's probably not a bad idea because, well, cookies. Um, raffle tickets. Get those purchased by 8 o'clock, please. So get your raffle tickets so you can go ahead and have a chance to win some money tonight. Uh, Doug, why don't you go ahead and explain Fund the Need and what we're raising money for tonight and how we're going to do that differently than what we used to at It Shine. has been a little different, Chris, from years past. Usually we did that at the end of the, end of the show, really, where we raised the paddle. And that was after people had done and engaged in a lot of drinking, and that helped us raise and meet our goal. <laughs> so, but this year we're going to do it a little differently. We know how it is at home. You may be shuttling kids back and forth, taking babysitters home, etc. So tonight, all you have to do is really just pick up your iPhone, your tablet, Get on your computer, and you can fund the need throughout the evening. You can put in $5,000, $10,000, $2,550. You know, we're going to accept all of those wonderful donations. And, you know, Chris, the people at St. Robert's have just bid like $500 on something. And uh, Thank you, hit bid pal, and all of your donations tonight will go to fund the need. I actually have Ed Lefevre's bid number here for some reason. Um, <laughs> But the really cool thing about tonight is, is our goal, everybody, you at home, our goal is to have and to raise $50,000 tonight for St. Robert's, for the parish, and for the school. That's an obtainable goal. We know you can do it. You've been so generous in the past. But this year, we had a wonderful parishioner say, you know what, if you can make $50,000, I don't care if Chris McGill and Doug Kelly have to get up here and dance to raise that money, but if you can raise $50,000... I will, that parishioner will donate an additional $10,000. I mean, that's amazing. It, it, it's just amazing. So, Chris, do you believe that? We could actually raise $60,000 here tonight. It would be fantastic. You know, so what we're asking is, um, you know, humbly asking you to open up your hearts and your pocketbooks and to go ahead and if you, you know. Or... The St. Robert's Cherry Vodka. I mean, <laughs> all you got to do is bid $500 twice, all right? Get yeah. on that. I mean, I think that's a great idea. I mean, I would have a tough decision trying to decide between one or the other. So why not buy both? And I love spending other people's money. So, you know, I went ahead and took Andrew Foxhoven's bid number and bought two bottles for him. I will deliver those for free, okay? So, you know what? Let's get the show started. Let's invite our pastor, Father Still Monks, up, and he's going to do an opening prayer. Father, this is your kickoff tour. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm ready Let's for give it. him a big hand, everybody. <laughs> Since I'm almost old, I'm going to sit. Fair Good enough. to see all of you tonight here and at home in your homes. Good evening for us. So let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good and loving God, we marvel at your care for us. You've given us the faith and the community to be vibrant, to be alive, to be blessed. And we thank you for all the blessings you give us. We ask you to pour out your generous love upon us this night, that our celebration here and in our homes will reflect the faith that we have in you and your care for us. Bless us in all these things in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Be reverent and be brief. Okay. <laughs> Very yes. good. Thanks, Father. And thanks for staying up here with us as well. You know, Chris and I were both excited to be here to host this first virtual shine to fund the need. 
And you know what? We're here to kick off your farewell tour as well. Amen. Yes. And so you know what? And I was asked this earlier this evening. The burning question at St. Robert's right now, Father. Adventures. And the Lord will take good care of all of us as we go forward. So, Doug, thank you much. Thanks, Father. Yeah, Thanks great. so much, Father. Great. You know, with some of the promo materials that we did, uh, I pulled out the old Cadillac convertible, and Father Stillmunks and Doug and I went ahead and took some pictures. We just took some so much fun with us, and she took the three of us and made us look pretty good, which is kind of a tall order. I asked her, you know, can you get my good side? And she just looked at me with kind of a, I, yeah, I, just let's take a picture, okay? So that's exciting. Well, you know what? I think it's really time to recognize our spirit of St. Robert's Award winners. Are you ready to do that, Father? If I could, could we please have Ed and Lois Lefevre please come forward? And it's really a privilege and an honor for me. They've been my neighbors for the last 36 years. And it's great to read a few things about them. Uh, Lois and Ed Lefevre, they joined St. Robert's in 1986. And they've been active in the Ladies' Guild, the Home and School Association, the Men's Club, and the Knights of Columbus. In the early 1990s, they became facilitators of family ministry. As very connected to St. Robert's, it's our home. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ed and Lois, and thanks so much for being here and, and the kids along and St. Robert's, so wonderful, okay? Um, Ed actually made uh, the wedding cakes for my wife and I, so we go back quite a ways with a sweet tooth, um, but we want to go ahead and uh, talk about the thermometer, okay? So we're talking about fund the need and where wow. we're at, and wow, look at that, Doug. $23,220 raised so far. So it looks like from, what, from my tabulations, from the, from the time we started until now, uh, we've raised, well, now it looks like the total proceeds, as far as fund the, 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 fund the need, the thermometer, I think we were up $10,000 from the time that we started the Shine Show, which is phenomenal. And all we ask is that you keep, in, find it in your hearts, find it in your pocketbooks to go ahead and try to help us fund the need. That's amazing. Thanks, Chris. You know, what, what's funny, too, is we talk about all the things that we're auctioning off tonight with the silent auction and super tonight. You know, I do have something going tonight. Um, there is a match, kind of a big deal, the uh, egg rush roulette, where uh, Chris, the grass cutter, Colzel is clearly going to go down tonight. Is that true? Oh, yeah. What do you people think about that? Oh. Nah, I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what, Doug. I'm going to go ahead and go get ready for that match Act with the trophy. You mean right now you're going to leave? In I'm the leaving right the now. It's, you got this, Doug. Anybody betting on Chris McGill tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Father? I'm going to stand over you're, here. You're here, and it's good to have you. Yeah. You know, while Chris gets ready for the match, let's just talk a little bit about what this fundraiser really truly means to St. Robert's. You know, over the years, we've raised lots of money for, yes, through Bella Festa and Shine. And some of the things that have really, we, the projects that we've supported around the parish and school, and actually we've got a list of them here, and I don't want to omit any of them because they're so important. The removal of the asbestos in the school, you remember that. Yep. The heating and the upgrade of the heating. Something bad happens, they run to the scene to help. So we chose them as well to help promote public safety. So those are the two recipients this year, Doug, for our uh, tithe, and we're very proud to share it. So very you. good. And I'd better go get ready for that match Chris was talking about, because I'm the umpire. So. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to give Father just a few minutes to get ready to put his uh, striped shirt on, and you know, which is great. He's going to add some integrity. And Chris, they're both ready. Let's roll that. Wait. Oh, how about that? Oh, loser. <laughs> See if I can get it out of here. There we go. We ready? Ladies ready. and gentlemen, the first egg. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah, Let's I do was, this. I was born ready. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh. Hard boil. Hard boil. Oh, there it is. There you nice go, Coastal. All right. On to egg number two. Any of them? 
Any of them. Well, not any of them. Hopefully, Harvey. You want a raw one? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. This one right here. All right. Do this? All right. Do this? Bring it. Yeah. Bring it, Kozel. Nice. Ah, all right. Yeah. Oh, hard ball. All right. All right. Oh. Good deal. All right. Mr. McGill. Big number three. Serious selection. Feeling Where's the raw good? one? Going feeling down. Pretty, oh, I'm feeling pretty confident. Let's go uh, his neighbor right there. This little guy nope, or this right guy? There, right oh. there. There you go. Okay. Should have picked All the right. other one. All right, you ready? Let's do this. Well, here's nothing. Oh! Look at this! That's raw. Hey. Nice. Hey. Nice. All right. All right. All right. Come from behind, Kozel. This looks like a pretty easy game to me. <laughs> uh huh. So, you know, I'm going to go to your to? side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't bring think it. there's two in a row. Bring it. No way. All right, let's see how this works. All right. Oh, hard boiled. Oh, Another hard boiled. Another successful right, That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. I'm feeling pretty good. You better hand over that belt pretty soon. I'm going to come over to your side there. You want this Champion guy? Champion sure, is in why trouble. Not? All right. All right, you ready? Champion ready. is in yeah, trouble. You know what? I think if you get two of them, you're out. Well, <laughs> those are the rules. <laughs> Einstein. <laughs> Hard boil. Hard boil. All right. <laughs> He's still there in the match. Nicely right. put it down. Uh -huh. <coughs> He's talking smack right, now. Father. All right. This one. Make a selection. There you go. Careful. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. A lot this of work goes game. into the selection here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do it, Kozel. Oh! One and one. It's all tied up. It's Father, all are you okay? Tied up. And I'm still clean. Father, are you okay? God. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. All I think right. I messed up my hair. Mr. Miguel. I like the power. <laughs> yeah, I got commitment. I like the commitment. I think it hit my back. Well done. All right. All right. All right. Fateful choice. Ooh. That's one oh, right here. My oh, friend. Yeah. There you go. All right. All right. Hey, right. let's get cracking this on this one. <laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you did. Here we go. You ready? All right. Whoa. Hard boiled. <laughs> All right. Why don't you do it with some power? The pressure's on. I'm more of a finesse guy. <laughs> uh, Ain't it the truth? This is kind of scary. Ah. What's it going right. to be, Kozel? What's going. it going to be? Oh, there you go. All right. Uh -huh. All right. This, oh, this is are, almost over. Feels a little hard. You realize boiled. that? Here we yeah. go. Yeah. Just you about see over. See this, everyone out there? Yeah. Here. Yeah. Oh. Hard boiled. Oh, hard right. boiled. Yet again. Oh, we're down to the last building. two eggs, uh -oh. ladies and the gentlemen. Attention's building, mister. I hope it's you, because it's not a So, me. by logic, <laughs> I'm going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good choice. Good choice, you guys. All right. <laughs> Ooh, ick. Well, you know what? That was, that was impressive. And you know... When I look at Chris McGill over there, he is still wiping the egg off of his forehead. It was pretty fantastic. I mean, but, when it, with all the cookie making and the history of doing all those dozens, have you ever busted eggs over your head like that? I just, I need to ask you that once again. You know, with four kids, surprisingly, I haven't, just out of frustration. Uh, but no, that's not usually a normal practice in our house. But that was a lot of fun with Chris, and I got to give credit where credit is due. You know, um, he went ahead, he was an excellent contender. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, puns, people. Good times. Good times. Um, but he really came out of his show, dangle them in front of them and be like, you want a cookie? Go clean your room. <laughs> and it's amazing how much more productive the Deneen boys have been this last year simply by buying the cookies from Chris McGill. So if that's a motivation you have as a parent, yeah, 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 yeah. bid them up, folks. Bid yeah, them up. But yeah, bid them all up. Yeah, yeah. We really have some fantastic items Again, can meet anybody's needs, wants, desires. You go ahead and find those things, bid them up. Let's make some money for St. Robert's. Great. That's amazing. Thanks yeah. again, Chris. And you know, you know, Father, you did a great job. It was impeccable refereeing. Yeah. I know you had two tough people there. Oh, crazy. My, my question for you, Father, are you, you know, I know Chris has already challenged Chris Coles will do a, a rematch. Yes. Are you going to come back from Florida to referee that for us? Oh, for those boys... Yeah, I they're going to so. need you, Father. They're going to need a lot of encouragement. I can do that. You well, bet. We're all looking forward to that rematch, <laughs> McGill, and I, I don't, I don't see you winning that either. But. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not very good at that game at all. Well, you know, everybody, we're about to share our St. Roberts Alumnus of the Year from the class of 2001. And you know what? When Chris reads through her bio, you're going to realize what an amazing 
young gal that she really is. What a wonderful lady. Can you go ahead and read her bio, Chris? You got the egg off your face yet there? I have. You bet I can read that because I'm hooked on phonics. Um, <laughs> I'm happy to go ahead and tell you about this fact. Fantastic alumna. Uh, this year's alumna of the year is Rachel Balkovec from the St. Robert's class of 2001. She entered her first year as a minor league hitting coach with the New York Yankees, and she is the first woman to hold that title in the history of professional baseball. She joined the Yankees after completing her second master's degree in biomechanics and statistics in the Netherlands, clearly smarter than I am, which isn't saying much. The first time she made history in professional baseball was 2014 as the first full-time female strength and conditioning coach as the minor league strength and conditioning coordinator for the St. Louis Cardinals. Rachel was unable in the Shine catalog. Special thanks to Rachel's parents, Bonnie and James Balkovec, for accepting this award, award excuse me, on her behalf. Father, any comments about that? Uh, oh, 2001. It, outstanding. And it's not just the family, it's the community, it's the school. We just don't pour numbers and, and reading into kids' heads. We draw people out to be their best. And she's a good, a good example of some of the talent that's come out of our school over the years. And her mom and dad are still very much part of the parish now. That's awesome. So that's awesome, yeah. I mean, there's so much talent that comes through St. Robert's. It, it truly does. And it's really a credit, you know, uh, to the, our leadership at the school and to everybody there and our wonderful teachers. And it's just amazing to see how yeah. successful that she has been. No. On with that, uh, you know, Chris, when you were reading that bio and she started talking about biomechanics and statistics, I kind of lost track there. I didn't know what you were talking about. There were too many syllables for me to understand <laughs> what was going on. I really had no idea. But anyway, it's great. Go ahead, Chris. You know, um, yeah, I'm listening to what a, an amazing woman she is and all that she's accomplished. I've seriously got to step up my game when it comes to my resume. Um, and, you know, after going ahead and le learning about that alumni winner, it got me to thinking about St. Robert's and our school and what this woman has done going forward based on that foundation she got from St. Robert's. And I think that's really key and really important. Um, and this year's past graduates were clearly no exception. And Father probably knows this already. But uh, with, to share with Doug and the rest of our guests watching at home or here, uh, the last year's 2020 graduating class went ahead and 32% uh, of the students received scholarships at Catholic high schools. Wow. So <laughs> nearly a third of the class, which is so impressive. It's the highest in school history. And just a reminder of what a fantastic job that our teachers, our principal, our assistants, everybody in the school does to go ahead and provide these kids a foundation for a future that's so bright. And we're so proud of that here at St. Robert's. <laughs> You know, it is truly amazing, and the leadership at the school has done so much, and Father, you have done so much, too, to keep our parishioners. The school, the teachers, they've had great leadership, and you know, I really want to thank Jackie Reinhardt for all of her leadership at the school. Uh, I really do. I mean, it's amazing what she's done, given all of and. You know, Father, this is your kickoff. It's your farewell tour. And I know Kelly Vasquez, who does great work for the parish. I know she... Yes. <laughs> you know, the birthday girl, she's got a lot of things planned for you here uh -oh. at the, towards the end of the year and into 2021 prior to your retirements. What are your thoughts about that? Oh, I like a party, so I'm <laughs> on board with anything like that. And so we're, we're going to plan a series of parties um, to say thanks that's farewell awesome. and those kinds of things. Um, because coming together to have a party like tonight is important, besides being fun. And uh, it'll bring my tenure here to a close, and I'll move on to other things and get ready for the new guy. Um, <clears throat> Doug, could I have a cookie, please? <laughs> there you go. Oh, boy, I haven't oh, even oh, taken a bite oh, of that oh, one. Oh. It's Fingerprints. Good. <laughs> No, thank you much. You're it's welcome. Really, really good. We're blessed here. So, all right. What's next? Yeah. So, Doug, this really is an amazing parish and school. Doug, this really is an amazing parish and school. Uh, and we're, I think we're going to be in reach of that goal tonight, hopefully, as far as reaching that $50,000 that we talked about. Um, I do want to go ahead and mention that with the uh, cherry vodka and the Blue Jay bourbon, $500 gets you one bottle, maximum of two bottles. So if you donate 1000 you get two bottles. 
here's your reason to go ahead and donate. <laughs> yes. Yay. So anyway, Father, we put a little video together, and it's a few of our students and our teachers and our parishioners sharing some thoughts about One interaction with them was really, really difficult. We miss our friends. Being together in a classroom, like as a family, every day, that's probably what I miss the most. I was so excited to come back after six months of being gone because I just, that was, I think, the prayer that I said the most and the prayer that everyone around here said the most because we just wanted to be in the classroom with our kids. It was exciting to see the kids come through the doors again and kind of have that sense of normalcy. I really missed seeing their faces and being able to see them again was just a blessing. The favorite part of my school day now is when I come in in the morning and I see all the teachers and they all say hi and we're so glad you're here. Going into my second year as principal at Robert Bellarmine School, I thought my first year was that of many challenges, yet celebrations. We opened the Learning Center, um, and that was a great success. Um, it was my first year leading this awesome staff, which I'm so blessed to work with, and our children are so blessed to have educate. And then March 13th hit, and March 13th was the day, the last day that we were in our school. And because my teachers were... And I think we've kind of passed with flying colors as far as how the school has handled uh, 2020, without Agreed. question. Yeah, agree. Right? Very much so, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> so we want to go ahead and talk about fund the need again, Doug. And I want to go ahead and recognize, yes. Um, there's just a little pause in the video, and we're going to play the second part of it. But you can talk about oh, okay. the names of names, and then we'll show the second part. Perfect. Okay. Okay, sounds good. So we've got ahead and uh, we keep, people keep funding the need and being so generous. Uh, Rochelle Mullen, uh, going ahead, the Cool family, the Price family. Uh, Jane and, and the benefactors have put into building and completing our early learning academy. And I'm hopeful that we'll continue to build our St. Robert's culture and uh, provide a great service in the future. I'm grateful uh, for St. Robert's for the community that we have here. And there's a great support group here at St. Robert's right now that if anybody ever needed anything, we're here for them. We talk a lot about community when we talk about St. Robert's and, and my hope for the, the future here and the near future is that, that that sense of community remains because I think while you can build that community Virtually, uh, I think it's it's a lot a lot harder to do that. I think uh, people being together builds that sense of community quite a bit, and I'm just hopeful that you know we can fill the church again as we did. We can have the kids run around the hallways like they have, you know, without without masks, without any inhibitions. Um, I, I just hope it all passes and that 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 sense of community that's always been here continues through this. One of the things I'm most grateful as I begin my last year of service here at St. Robert's are all of you, the people of the parish, who when you let Christ live in your hearts, you reach out to others in service, in joy, in parties, in friendships, and even in arguments and disagreements, but yet always coming together as family. And that makes me hopeful that when I move on and a new pastor comes in, these things change all the time, but the faith we share will just be brighter as the years go by. So as we move into... A one of our chair people made a surprise video, or surprise appearance in one of the videos, dressed as the Cardinal. I think Paige Hardy at one point was... Yay! Yeah, yeah. Dressed in that Cardinal costume, which I hear is quite comfortable. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. So... Um, we want to go ahead and uh, talk again about fund the need, um, the Hardys, the Pothoffs, just making great donations to our parish to fund the need, um, the Vasquez family. Um, again, people are being so generous, and I can't tell you, I know, it, I know I keep saying it, but it just bears repeating that we go ahead and talk about fund the need. So if we could go ahead, guys, and if we get a chance real quickly to go ahead and try to pull up that thermometer. Wow. Hey. Look 
at that. I think we're up $23,000 from when we started tonight. Uh, and we are really working our way towards that goal. To stay healthy. Stay safe. And stay with God. Think about all the people that you've led to be Catholic and you've done for us at St. Roberts. If I could have anyone's job here, it would be Father Stillmonks because I feel like uh, teaching people about Jesus is a very special gift. Father Stillmonks um, has had a significant impact on our, on our building and on our school and on our parish community these last seven years. But a memory that I have of Father Stillmonks is his friendship. When you're a leader of a building, you rely on somebody with wisdom and knowledge. And that's Father Stillmonks. He has been my rock, my sounding board, and my spiritual advisor. He gave me some words of wisdom, and that is stay in the presence of God. Grab his hand, and he will guide you through. And that I have lived by through all this remote learning, through the opening of the building, getting these children in here, through personal conflicts for hopes and dreams, I grab onto God's hand and he has always gotten me through it because God has a plan. And that is what Father Stillings has taught me. It is a memory I will cherish and I will live by. I'm really gonna miss Father Stillmonks. Um, he really packs a punch with his messages. He is so good at telling a story and relating it to the gospel and getting a point across, something that Jesus wants us to learn from that gospel. And he's just fabulous at it. He gets it. The message that he delivers, I can always take something away from it. And Father Stillmonks, I'm grateful for you. I've learned so much from your leadership and I'm extremely grateful for our time that we've spent together. I'm hopeful in Florida, when you retire next year, that you have a great time, and your feet enjoy the warm sand down there. It's well earned. Father, I'd just like to thank you for your uh, spiritual leadership, and I know this last uh, six or eight months have been tough, and you've earned your retirement, and uh, I hope you just have a, a safe and healthy retirement down in Florida. Good evening, everyone. I'm really happy to be with you, and I want to thank you for coming to shine. You know, this is a special one because uh, it'll be Father Stillmonk's uh, last shine as pastor. And I wanted to, wanted to share a couple of things. The first thing I want to say is, Father Steve, I am so grateful that you could have celebrated the beautiful people. As you get ready to retire, I of course, want to wish you well. I have something very personal I want to share, coming from my heart to you and to share before uh, these wonderful people who are in attendance. Very rarely would you ever have a pastor and a retired pastor working together so often. I want to thank you, Father, for allowing me to be a part of the St. Robert's spiritual life Easter time, Christmas time, inviting me to celebrate the Eucharist. You've allowed me to be present for baptisms, for weddings and funerals, and often you've allowed me to celebrate those. It's an incredible amount of generosity that you have shown me, and that has made my, my years of retirement these past eight years to be most happy. It's been fun sharing with you and talking with you. And I really don't mind the jokes about your nice hair and my lack of it. But I want to wish you all the best and know that personally, I'm deeply, deeply grateful to you. I wish you all the best and I promise my continued prayers for you. 15,000 short. Wasn't that amazing, Father? That was, that was wonderful. To hear that all those wonderful. good things. And you know, I was watching the video and I was watching your expression, and I know that really touched your oh, heart. Very much so. It really yeah, very did. Very much I, so. I, just, I was wondering yeah. if there was a little sawdust in here. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, uh, that was really a great video. Um, you know, I was wondering why I wasn't asked to give any input. Doug, and uh, somebody told me I had a face for radio, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to sure, go with sure. that. Yeah, yeah, I um, 
I never heard back from him. Funny. <laughs> um, but you know, ahead, uh, we were talking about, I heard somebody talking about your, your homilies. I think it was Katie Huss, actually, who's a sixth grade teacher here, teaches math at St. Robert's. Yep. <laughs> Big shout out to the Huss family. Um, you know, her homily talked about being short and getting something from that. And that reminds me of the last day of school. If you've ever been to all school mass on the last day of school, Father gives the same homily every year. And it's a brilliant homily for families and for kids. And he tells the kids three things. Get your parents outside and read something. And my kids always have remembered that. My kids, the wakes. And you know, being a parish priest, it's not easy. And people don't realize sometimes, Father, those phone calls you get at 3.15 to the rectory, 3.15 in the morning from a family in need saying, Father, can you please come up here and be with our family? And he has done that. Father Andy has done it. Father Mark, Father Andy has all risen to the challenge. And you know, you've been a dear friend of mine for all of these years. I'm going to truly miss you. And I know you've been a great, great friend and, and a pastor to everybody here at St. Robert's. Good. Comments, Thank Father. Thank you. Oh, it, overwhelming. It is. Overwhelming it, moments. It's just, it's life. It's what we do. It's who we are. And I can't imagine a better place to do it than here at St. Robert's. So my thanks to each and every one of you here and at home for all your prayers, your support, and your encouragement. It's deeply, deeply appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Getting to that $50,000 total, um, just some great donations. You go through the list. Uh, Aaron and Emily Borgman, Kathleen and uh, Mike Lightheart, uh, my wife, apparently, uh, the Blommels, uh, Jamie and Joe Johns, uh, Kimberly and Mike Bogard, the Jaworskis, the Tribulados, Katie and Mike Francis, um, the Kozels, the Griezmanns, the Zemans, the Emotis. I mean, there are just so many people, um, the, the Pars, the Shuren family. I mean, there's just so many people that just are so generous. And again, I know I keep, I sound like a broken record, but I just don't know how to go ahead and express how appreciative we all are. How Father Stillmunks and Father Mark and Father Don, I know you're not part of the, the parish officially anymore, but I know that he appreciates being uh, just such a part of a wonderful parish, okay? We are really, really close people. So again, if you can go ahead and find it in your hearts to go ahead and go to fund the need, make a, a donation, Anything helps. Anything helps. It doesn't matter if it's $50. Oh! We did it, Chris! Hey. Woo! Oh, that is That awesome. was an air five. Congratulations! Hey, That again. is amazing, isn't and, it, Chris? And you know the best part about this, Doug, is we talked about that 50000 goal. If we reach it, we have that generous parishioner that's going to donate $10,000 more. What? Plus, we got another five in addition to that 10. Wow. So we got another 15,000 added to our total. I mean, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm not usually speechless, and I'm speechless, which is a rarity. Well, that sounds great. I think we're going to do some other drawings, aren't we, Chris? Absolutely. The Let's go ahead awards. and start doing go ahead our, do our raffle drawing. Let's go ahead and get our gold and silver packages. Yes. Yeah, let's go ahead and bring some of our uh, shine chairs up here. Wow. You can argue amongst yourselves later as to who that is, but come on up. What a difficult year. Father, Father Stillmunks. Perfect. Let's go with the silver package. Father Mark McKercher is going to come up. Father Mark. Come Father on Mark's going to go gonna ahead and do the... step in real quick. <laughs> Which one's this for? This is for the silver, uh, silver drawing. And I'm not interested. No. <laughs> Describe the sound it makes when the sheep explodes. That's an actual car accident. Lori Pritchard. Lori Pritchard is the winner. That's a $250 Amazon gift card for Lori Pritchard. This is for $750 for our holiday lighting. Holy cow. $750 holiday lighting package. I need that. Who is the winner going to be, Father? Stephen Still, no. Uh. <laughs> Thank you to the Reeds. They're going to go ahead and receive a $250 Fleming's gift card. So thank you so much for your generosity. And not just to the Reeds, but to everybody 
who's been so generous. We just can't thank you guys enough. So let's go ahead and we'll do the raffle drawing. Can we, can we draw the first place, second place, yep. and third place? So we'll go 5,000 backwards. backwards. 5,000, 2,500, and 1,000. So Ben and Matt, if you could grab that and bring it up on stage here. And Father can draw. We're going to draw first for the $5,000 winner. And while they bring that up here, we also want to thank the pot offs too. They weren't here to be recognized. They've done so much work. And actually, yeah. we're going to do what? The first one pulled out is the thousand. Okay. No, no, no. no. Five thousand. Yeah. Right. Then now, now it's a backwards. Yeah. All right. So we're going to announce the five thousand dollar winner first. Why do we do that, ladies and gentlemen? We're not going to do that. We're going to do the five thousand dollar winner first. We will draw it, but not announce it. Yes. Okay. Very good. I'll keep track. All I have to do is draw. That's all. I Father, your job is simple. Just pick, pick a friend. We are a well-oiled machine up here. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. So this is the five thousand. All right. And don't read it. I'm not and the reason why we pick dollar winner first is we want everybody to have the opportunity to be the five thousand dollar winner. Absolutely. Oh. $2,500 yes, $2, winner is next. All right, there you go. Oh. <laughs> Doug Kelly is very moved by the choices tonight. <laughs> moved by the spirit. Well, that one ought to take care of it. Oh, boy. That's the $1,000 winner. That's the $1,000 winner. So now do we get to announce them, right? Yes. Do you want to do the $5,000 first or do the $1,000? <laughs> Megan, you were so close. Chris, go ahead and read the $1,000 right. winner. $1,000 goes to Matt Emoti. <laughs> Congratulations, Matt. And you want to talk about somebody that's been in this parish for a long, long time. They are our $2,500 winner. winner yep, $2,500, fantastic family. Sean and Jordan Van Morligan, $2,500. So congratulations to you guys. And who is the $5,000 winner, Chris? Please read my name. I'd love to, Doug, but I'm not going to. <laughs> the $5,000 winner is Tim McKeon. Oh, yeah. Tim McKeon. So we went ahead and, and we talked about that thermometer and how we've gone ahead and reached our goal. That doesn't mean you can't continue to give money, folks. If you feel the need to go ahead and donate, please do. We are so grateful and so thankful for all that you folks do uh, within our parish. We want to go ahead um, and talk about uh, the silent auction as well. Okay, guys, if you can go ahead and bring up that thermometer, that'd be great. Holy Woo! smokes. So... With that, we're adding 15 to that through donations, correct, for the thermometer? So we're up to $70,000, folks, which is amazing, okay? Okay, 66835 for total proceeds. Total proceeds. Um, before we go ahead and sign off, Doug, do you want to do some thanks, or do you want me to go ahead and take care of those? Oh, you know, it's amazing. To make $70,000 tonight, and we didn't even have to dance or anything. No. I mean, that's incredible. And thank God. <laughs> yeah, really. Because nobody wants to see that. Well, they want to see me dance, but anyway, it's uh, another thing. But go ahead, Chris. Yeah, Let's so we want to go ahead and thank, first of all, all the people that have donated tonight. Whether you donated to fund the need, whether you donated packages for the silent and super silent auction items, anybody that donated in any way, shape, or form, we can't thank you at all. Uh, Ryan and Tiffany Wade for running the, the shine raffle itself. Big round of applause. A lot of work. Um, there's so many people that want to go ahead and help. They're listed in the program, so take a look at your programs if you get a chance to look at all the people that made this possible. Um, this year's shine chairs. I don't know how to say enough about Megan and Mike Pothoff. Jane and Matt West. Paige and Ben Hardy. A monumental task that I wouldn't wish upon my worst enemy planning something of this magnitude. This was wonderful. And even though we kind of screwed up, 
the logistics of it. I think it really, really went well tonight. So we want to go ahead um, and just thank everybody. Katie Witt. Uh, Thanks. You know, this is your first year doing this it, for Shine. It was. And congratulations to you. I thought it was awesome, and it was so nice to have him here next to me. Thank Thanks you. to everybody at home who have joined us here tonight. Thanks for all of your contributions, your generosity. May God be with you and really watch over your families as we all work through this together. God bless you, and have a good evening. Continue to party. Good night, folks. Huh? Okay, we've got just a reminder, 20 minutes left to still get your bids in on the silent auction. Go ahead and buy cookies for an obscene amount of money. Go right ahead and do that. It's totally worth it, people. Bid those items up. Thanks so much, everyone. Thanks, everyone. The kickoff party officially starts right now for Father Stillman. Awesome. <laughs> Woo! Thank you. Perfect. Sounds great. Thank you so much, everyone. There you go, brother.